Testing for herbicide resistance in problem weeds helps growers review their herbicide application techniques and make good future management choices to prevent or delay weed resistance on their farm. The most comprehensive test is best done on weed seeds collected just before harvest. And as Peter Pizzala shows, the process of collecting samples and sending them off for testing is very simple. Here we are north of Horsham in a barley crop on a very windy day with a lot of flies. So I've just spent a few minutes in this paddock collecting some ryegrass. This amount of ryegrass is sufficient to do a comprehensive resistance test. When do you collect seed? It's just prior to harvest. You're going to come into that paddock for some reason to inspect the crop, see the stage of the crop. That is the best time to take a seed sample because the seeds will be ready. You can collect seeds from a patch where you suspect there is resistance or if you suspect that resistance is more widespread, walk into the paddock, stop a few times, collect a few handfuls, and that's really all you need. It's very simple to do. Once you've got those weeds, if you've got a coffee cup, you can break off the heads, put them in the coffee cup. If you've got a shopping bag, just place them in there until you get home. At home, we need, we need them to be sent in a paper bag, not plastic, it has to be paper. If you're doing a Bayer herbicide resistance test, the envelopes that they've sent through are perfect. They've got all, all the information that you need to how to do a test. And the seed heads are simply just cut, placed in the bag and posted. And that's really very simple. So we've received this ryegrass at the testing lab. What do we do with it? Well, we have to trick the ryegrass into thinking it's autumn in order for it to germinate transplant it into pots, wait for it to get to the right growth stage, and then we spray in a herbicide cabinet with the same nozzles, herbicide rates that you would be spraying in the field. We aim, and we've always been able to get the results back to the farmer, back to you, before the start of the next season, because it's very important for you to be able to act upon and choose the right herbicides for, the, for that season.